Congratulations, we have successfully minted our first NFT together. Hey, it's Gabish, and in this video I will guide you step by step on how to mint your first NFT so you can flip it for profit. It will only cost you a like and subscribing to the channel because it's free and valuable content that will probably make some of you quite rich one day. First of all, an NFT is a non-fungible token. Non-fungible means it cannot be replaced, copied or subdivided by something else. It's something unique, just like the Eiffel Tower, the Mona Lisa, my handmade drawing of my dictionary, huh? What do you think? Huh? Cash, for example, is something fungible. You can trade one dollar for two pieces of 50 cents. You can replace the one by the other and it stays the same. And a token is simply a digital certificate stored on a blockchain, which makes the ownership of the asset public and tracked. Now you can also mint an NFT. What does that mean? Similar to the way that metal coins are minted and added into circulation, NFTs are also tokens that get minted once they are created. You will see me minting an NFT live in this video, so be sure to keep on watching till the end because I will guide you step by step on how to do so. Flipping is a term for buying items at low prices and selling quickly for a profit. We're now seeing an enormous wave in the NFT space and trust me on this one, this is just the beginning. Alright, let's set up everything so you can start minting NFTs for yourself. So step one, go to description and click on the link next to step one. You will arrive on the specific sign up page on Coinbase or Binance and there you can create your account. Step two, connect your bank account or your credit card to Coinbase or Binance. Go to Ethereum and select buy. I suggest starting with $100. Step three, go to metamask.io. Install the browser extension and create an account in Metamask to get your wallet ID. Step four, we are going to transfer your Ethereum on Coinbase or Binance to Metamask. You do this by copying your ID from Metamask and pasting it into your Coinbase or Binance account and click send. This will send the $100 of Ethereum to your MetaMask account. Step 5. Create an account on OpenSea.io by connecting your MetaMask to your OpenSea account. Finally, step 6. Subscribe to my channel and put a thumbs up on this video. You have all these websites open. I suggest you create a new folder named NFT on your bookmarks bar. And I will give you some extra websites that will help you mint and flip NFTs successfully. So let's add Coinbase or Binance. That's the website where you bought your Ethereum. OpenSea.io. This website is the marketplace of NFTs where you can list your NFT to flip it for a profit. Next, Rarity.tools. This website is used to check whether an NFT is valuable or not. RaritySniffer.com works the same as Rarity.tools. IC.tools allows you to get real-time mint alerts of new projects. And finally, Twitter and Discord. The NFT community lives on these platforms. The official minting links are announced on the official project's accounts. So next time you open your browser to jump into the NFT space, you can just right-click on the folder and select Open All. A frequently asked question I get is, how do you find a good project? In the description, I added a list of NFT Twitter accounts that I follow, which I think are reliable sources to start with. Also, there are good NFT YouTubers out there, such as Brett Malinowski, who regularly announce good projects too. And once you found an interesting NFT project, then check their website, follow their Twitter and join their Discord. In this video, I will use the Astro Heads project as my example. So I recently joined their Discord and started engaging in the chat. If you see that the main chat has around 5 to 10 messages per minute, it's a good sign that other people are also hyped for this project. On the Discord, you will also receive important announcements like pre-launch offers as getting on the whitelist, which means you can get a guaranteed spot to mint a couple of NFTs before the public mint. You can get a whitelist spot usually by being one of the most active members on their Discord, or sometimes there are just giveaways, or you can put your name into a form and random people will be selected to get into the whitelist. That's how I got my spot with Astro Heads. And there are also a lot of giveaways, Twitter competitions, and so on. And once you secure your spot on the whitelist, you are safe to say that you can get some NFTs without risking them to sell out completely during a public mint. A few days ago I wanted to mint this NFT from Monkeyverse during the public mint and it sold out in 5 seconds, which is insane. So try to get a whitelist spot if you really want to be sure of minting a particular NFT. Now if you missed the opportunity to mint, you can also buy a listed one on OpenSea. It will probably be more expensive than the mint price itself, but sometimes people just want to make a quick gain of a few hundred dollars without holding on for an increase in price or value. To buy the cheapest available, just select price low to high. You can also immediately see where the floor price is over here. 
To check if an NFT is valuable or not, you can always click on one of the NFTs and check their characteristics over here to see the percentage of each trait. The lower the percentage, the less NFTs have these same traits, which makes your NFT more valuable. Of course, you can always use raritysniffer.com or rarity.tools to check the ranking of the NFT. Okay, let's move on to the fun part. Let's mint those NFTs. But before we start, there is one important thing which I think should be the number one rule for everyone who starts in the NFT space. As I said, on Discord you will get the official minting link, but there are a lot of scammers in the space sending every single person on Discord or on Twitter a private message with a link to mint the freshly released NFTs or whatsoever. You will never, I repeat, never receive a private message from the moderators to mint. It will always be a public announcement from the official accounts, so be extra careful. That being said, let's start minting. Okay, so I have a whitelist spot with Astroheads, so I can mint two NFTs right now within the next 24 hours. Tomorrow there will be a pre-sale where you can mint up to five NFTs for those who got a pre-sale spot. And the following day is the public mint, where everyone can mint as many NFTs as you want. But this means that the competition will be very high as well, because the total supply of NFTs is limited. So now I'm waiting on the Discord of Astroheads to get the official minting link to mint my NFTs. In the meanwhile, I check one last time if I have enough Ethereum in my MetaMask wallet. You can see the mint price per NFT inside the project's Discord. However, always add some extra Ethereum because you will need to pay a gas fee which at the moment is ridiculously high. That's why it's good to have a whitelist spot because you have 24 hours to mint your NFT. So you can try to see when gas fees of Ethereum are lower and then you can buy your NFT because you have a guaranteed NFT spot inside those 24 hours. Also, keep Keep your OpenSea account open in another tab, because you will see your NFTs appear over there after the minting process. Okay, so the announcement for minting is now finally published. Click on the link and you land on this page. Just select the number of NFTs you want. MetaMask will now open up. Now click Mint. And confirm. If the transaction is taking too long and you want to be sure to get the NFT as fast as possible, you can speed up your transaction, but it will be even more expensive. So if you have a whitelist spot, you don't need to hurry because you are safe to get your NFTs within the 24 hours. But if it's a public mint that is very hyped, I would suggest to speed things up to be sure to get one. Congratulations, you have minted your first NFT successfully. <laughs> You can check your NFTs now on your OpenSea account. Now, as you can see on my dashboard, all of these Astro Heads and or NFTs look the same. That's because they are not revealed yet. So I don't know if I minted a very rare or special Astro Head or perhaps they're not that valuable at all. Whatever the case is, as long as I don't need any liquidity, I'm holding the NFT to sell with profit in the future. HODL means hold on for dear life. And when you're ready to sell your NFT, go to your profile and select the NFT you would like to sell from your wallet. And select sell on the top right to be taken to the listing page. Now, what does listing mean? When you list, it means that you are selling your NFT. So people can make an offer or they can simply buy your NFT. If your NFT is delisted, it means that it's not for sale. However, people can still make offers on your NFT, even though it's delisted. Please note that the first time you list an NFT on OpenSea, which means that you're selling an NFT, you will need to pay a one-time transaction fee, which is quite expensive. So the question remains, at what price should I sell my NFT? First of all, you need to cover all your costs. First, the minting price, plus all the fees such as gas fees, listing fees. Then you have also the royalties, because the creators will always receive a small percentage of royalties every time one of their NFTs gets sold and only then you add your margin, in other words your profit. So keep that in mind that you don't sell too cheap either or you will be in loss even though it seems like you're in profit because you have to cover all the costs that goes along with it. Whoa guys, someone just made an offer five times higher than the price that I minted. That's honestly really crazy. I'm not selling the NFT right now, but just imagine that would be $1,000 in a matter of hours. So basically you get an email every time someone makes an offer on one of your NFTs. If you want to accept the offer, you just need to head back to OpenSea and accept the offer. You will need to confirm this through MetaMask again, and that's it. 
your Ethereum is now on MetaMask and you can transfer the Ethereum back to Coinbase or Binance whenever you want. And from there, you can trade your Ethereum back to your currency as US dollars or euros and withdraw it to your bank account. That's it. Just to be sure, save this video in one of your playlists to come back at on YouTube if you ever forget one of these steps. And share this video to someone you know who wants to start flipping NFTs but doesn't know where to start. I also made this tutorial in French and Dutch on my channel. And that being said, thank you for putting a thumbs up on this video and click here to watch another video that brings you one step closer to financial freedom. Thank you for watching and see you next time guys. Bye!